What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, Poor Man's Guide to Building a Food Truck. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about turning this into this. Let's get into it. And as per usual guys, I just wanna take one second to thank you all so much for the support recently. The channel actually just went over 200 subscribers. So since the last video, the followers have doubled. So it's really starting to build some traction. Uh, and thank you all so much for the support. It's, uh, it's really great. Um, secondly, go ahead, like, subscribe. Uh, any questions that you have, leave them right in the comments below. I'll get back to them personally. So uh, without further ado, let's get into it. So. Just to give you guys some context as to how this video all came about and how I decided to go with what I decided to go with, um, I started thinking more about the appearance and the outside of the trailer. Now that obviously a lot of the inside work is coming along nicely, I want to think about how the trailer is visually gonna look because at the end of the day, you could produce the best food in the world, but if it's not attractive visually um, and it doesn't draw people in, you're probably not going to be that successful um so i wanted to just take um a little bit of time to think about that so i did a lot of research uh did a lot of looking online again i'm lucky to be in this area because there's lots of kind of food trucks around i got a vibe for a lot of um how they look um aesthetically so the one thing that i noticed is that i really don't like the look of having like uh just a plain trailer with vinyl logos just kind of stuck on it I just think that looks a little bit, I don't want to say tacky, but it just, I, I just don't look at it. It doesn't look very appeasing to me. So I sat down with a few um, graphic designers and a few local places here uh, in central Florida about getting the whole trailer vinyl wrapped. So it's a seven by 16 foot trailer and it was coming out to, I don't remember exactly what it was. It's over 200 square feet of material. So for the material and the installation, it was going to cost over $6,000. So I think the cheapest one that I could find was literally like $6,000. It was like 5,900 and something. They had some kind of special offer on, um, which is just so much money. Uh, and I really, <laughs> I don't have uh, that kind of cash to put into the exterior of the trailer uh, at this current time. Now, later down the line, if we end up going a second trailer, you know, hopefully that's my vision is to build, build, build. Maybe that's something that's more feasible, but for right now, no way can I do that. So I was kind of scratching my head. I'm like, damn, I don't really know what to do. So here's what I came up with. So here's the problem. My trailer is white, completely white. The problem I have is that the logo and the business appearance is going to be a matte black color um, with orange and white accents to make it pop. So the problem I have is going from a completely white trailer to make it completely matte black so that when I put the vinyl logos on, it all kind of blends together. That way I don't have to spend six and a half or six thousand dollars to cover all this square footage of space on the exterior. All I have to pay for is the vinyl logo, which is a much, much smaller um, surface area to put on the trailer wherever I would like it to do. Here's what I didn't want to do. I didn't want to have a white trailer and then slap black um vinyl logos on it i just i just don't like the look of that i think it just looks cheap so i would rather paint the whole thing the color that i want it and then color match the logo so that it just kind of blends all into one now when you get up close to it of course you're going to be able to see that there's just a logo stuck on there but at least from a distance i'm hoping that it's just going to blend all together so it kind of looks like it's wrapped but it's not it's painted with the vinyl logo slapped wherever I would like to have them on the trailer. So the first step that I did, which uh, I did it without the, the camera, was I deep cleaned the whole trailer. Uh, I scrubbed every single surface on the exterior, sides, back, front, windows, wheels, everything, so that it is completely clean of debris, dirt, uh, and all that kind of stuff. So we have a nice clean surface ready to go. Of course, all I used for that was just regular automotive soap, water, sponge, scrubbed it with my own hands, and uh, we got it nice and clean. So that was step number one. Now remember guys, I am not a professional. I have never painted a car, a trailer, anything like that in my entire life. So this is all based off of what I have done in my own research uh, of other people that have done it, and I'm literally just copying and pasting it. So the next step that I have um, 
found is to do is to sand down the entire surface of the exterior of the trailer. Uh, what I'm going to use is I already have the sander, which is right here, Black & Decker. Uh, I don't remember how much it was off the top of my head, but I will put a link in the description for it. It's just a standard orbital sander um, and the sandpaper that I have found uh, to use is this 180 grit uh, sanding discs. So I bought a couple of packs of them, picked them up from Harbor Freight, made by Hercules. You can see it right there. Uh, they were only $4.99, $5.99 a pack for five of them. And I got 10 just in case I didn't, I had no idea how much I was gonna need. So I bought extra just to be on the safe side. I'll leave a link in the description for those. So the next step is to sand down the whole outside of the trailer before we prime it and then paint it. So just a little bit of feedback on these sanding discs from Harbor Freight. I mean, they do the job, but I mean, they do blow out fairly quickly. I mean, I, I, this is the first one and only ones that I've ever used, so I can't really compare it to anything. But this is, I'm about to go on to number three of 10 and I am only, well, I mean, I'm not even halfway through. So just to add that in there. All right, guys, so we got the whole thing sanded down. Uh, just as a reference, I went through all 10 of those uh, sanding pads, those sanding discs, and I could have done one more to be perfectly honest with you, but uh, I just kind of stretched them out. So just a heads up, you'll need plenty if you have a large trailer like this. So next step is we're gonna wash down the residue because we have all like that white dust all over it, which is the residue uh, from the, the white paint this on the aluminum and then as you can see we've got quite a lot of like bare metal so the next step is we're going to prime it we're going to use this um, self etching primer made by iron armor i picked it up from harbor freight i've got a ton of them i've got like i want to say like 10 or 11 cans of it because i figured it's uh <laughs> it's not going to go very far now professionals they're going to have like big industrial paint guns that they will just pour primer straight into it and then paint the whole thing but that requires the gun the compressor the hoses everything so uh they're super expensive so for me i don't need all that i'm just going to use the cans and then i picked up this little uh spray can tool from harbor freight too because i figured my finger will be going through torture if i do this whole thing without this so that's what i picked up the cans of primer i picked them up from harbor freight because they were only like four bucks a can something like that so i only spent about 40 bucks on the primer and i'm hoping that that's enough to cover this whole thing so that's next all right so here it is primed and it looks terrible <laughs> it looks so bad uh it's super streaky from obviously where i use the cans it's not even but because I'm going completely uh, matte black, 
it shouldn't matter uh, for me at least now if you're going a different color I have no idea I don't know how neat this primer needs to be if you're going with a lighter color but at least for matte black it's not gonna matter because it's gonna cover the whole thing up so that's the ugly stage I guess you could say all right so before we go ahead and get into the actual painting of the trailer let's talk about what we're gonna be using to paint it which I'm gonna be using this uh, which is an electric spray paint gun picks it up from Harbor Freight it was actually on sale too. I picked it up for $20. I'll leave a link in the description for it. After talking to the guys at the stores, Home Depot, uh, Harbor Freight and places like that, um, this, these were highly recommended um, from a couple of people for what I want to do. Now, are they industrial? Are they commercial grade? No. Um, if you plan on using this like for years, it's probably not going to do the job. You'll need something a little bit more heavy duty. But for painting a trailer one time, I was recommended this uh, that's what I'm gonna be using like I said I'll leave a link in the description for it and in terms of paint this is what I've gone with it is the bear ultra um, again spoke to a, a lot of people at Home Depot about the project I was doing and got as much advice as I could from several different locations and this was the common feedback that I got that this bear ultra stain blocking uh, paint is the best to use now it's a little bit more on the pricey side it's about 50 bucks a can however i still want it to look good just because we're trying to save some money doesn't mean i want i don't want it to look good so this is again what i'm going to be using bear ultra picks it up from home depot the color that i've gone with is called cracked pepper it's kind of like a matte black uh charcoal gray sort of color that's what i decided to go with so again i'll leave a link in the description for that Thank you for, uh, for you guys at Home Depot and uh, Harbor Freight. Um, my stores here in my local area, the people in there, were, uh, the work there are really, really great. They gave me a lot of solid advice. So let's see how it turns out. And here she is guys you have to excuse my mess on the ground everywhere but just give you guys a quick tour I'm actually super happy with how it came out nice matte black still wet so it's still a little bit shiny as you can see but um, I actually just ran out of paint I used uh, one full can um, and that also almost got me two full uh, coats. So last things for us to do will be to, we're gonna uh, paint the rims, we're also gonna paint the roof so it's completely blacked out. And I think she's gonna look pretty good. gonna make it look nice and clean those nice clean straight edges but there it is big shout out to the guys at uh, Home Depot and Harbor Freight because their recommendations were awesome I think this looks really really good we also blacked out obviously you saw at the front we blacked out the uh, aluminum we blacked out the aluminum wings above the wheels but that spray gun for $20 and that can of paint for 50 bucks it's a $70 job right there so there it is all right, so this one side is completely dry now, so I figured I'd go ahead and remove the masking tape just so you guys can see what it looked like without all the tape all over it on this side. And I am really happy with it. I think it looks really good. Um, the paint is awesome. <laughs> I mean, even though it's expensive, of course, you get what you pay for. Uh, I think it looks really clean. Uh, it's exactly the color that I wanted to go with, that kind of matte, bla matte black, um, really dark gray color looks really good so just wanted to put that in there so you guys can see what it looked like without the tape and of course guys this method isn't gonna be for everyone 
does it look perfect? No. If I had uh, enough money, if I had the money to go vinyl wrap it, of course I would. But I don't have that kind of cash. I don't have six grand to spend on a wrap. So the next thing for us to do is obviously, uh, I already got a quote for the uh, the vinyl logos. It's gonna be about 1500 bucks. That's what's gonna cost me. And that's gonna be a logo on every single um, side, on all four, one on the front, uh, one is gonna run right underneath here one on the rear and then a big one on the far side where we have all that surface area it's gonna cost me about 1500 bucks so let's just go through the math of how much this whole thing is gonna cost so all together it's gonna to cost me about 1500 bucks for the vinyl logos cost me $50 for the can of paint $20 for the spray gun and then a couple of other in-betweens like the primer uh, the sanding disc and stuff like that but all together this is this this trailer should the outside exterior should cost me no more than seventeen hundred dollars all in so you just need to compare that if you're in a struggle like me where you don't have all the money in the world to do a vinyl wrap you know six grand compared to seventeen hundred significant difference so again it's not gonna be for everybody I like how it looks but it's not gonna be for everybody if you have the money to vinyl wrap great for you but I don't <laughs> so this is what I'm gonna do and again this is the big surface this is where I'm gonna have my big nice big logo right here um, but if you're in a boat like me maybe this could be a viable option and that's gonna be everything for this episode guys if you have any questions comments please leave them in the comments section right below I'll get back to you myself personally thank you guys so so much for the support recently uh, we have gone through the roof in terms of uh, subscribers so go ahead keep hitting that subscribe button share follow all that good stuff um check out the instagram page poor man's food truck uh tiktok page poor man's food truck and until next time thanks very much